So what we have done is limited the use of these buses to three persons in the back seat and each of the other rows of seats in the vehicle would have two passengers per row so that it would help to reduce the close proximity in which people sit and would help us to enforce the social distancing that we require. These are the requirements outlined by Minister for Transportation Guy Joseph in the fight against the spread of the infectious COVID-19 virus. The unwillingness by drivers to comply with the set parameters of operation left Joseph detailing the penalty for defiance. Upon further discussion with the council and the police, we have made the decision that persons who are found violating these stipulated conditions will find themselves where their route permits would be suspended and the buses may be impounded. Joseph says if law enforcement stops a bus with more than 10 passengers on board, the penalty will be immediately applied to the driver. We are taking this very serious. A number of persons are making great sacrifices to see that we have the level of control that is required so that we can mitigate against the full impact of a corona outbreak in St. Lucia. And the minibus sector, the public transport sector, plays a very, very critical role in this process. That is why it is important that everyone, passengers and drivers alike, are required to comply with these requirements. The public official says given the imposition of the new curfew that starts from 11 p.m. and ends 5 a.m., minibus drivers are not expected to be operational given the limited activity with the rigid social distancing protocol. Sula Jalfred, HTS News Force.